Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Vanguard G. Yes, this is the Vanguard Zero update for G series. So this is the first time that I am clicking into it. I have just downloaded the update patch and let us see what G series has in store for us. Oh, well it's Kamui that's uh, welcoming us now instead of Mizaki. And there is our welcome Vanguard G. A little gift. It is the. There we go. It is a little banner. Oh, and we have little Christmas trees. And we've also received three packs of Generation Straight. And we've got five packs for logging in for day one. And you'll get the next ten packs tomorrow. Ooh, Card Capital 2 is unlocked. Ah, so here we go. Yo. Ooh! Kami is quite, quite tall. <laughs> he has upgraded since the last time we saw him. And of course he is sitting there next to Chrono. Wait, Kami, did you not know us from, you know, all of Vanguard Zero's first story? No? Okay. Well, this is him just finding out about us now, from Shin. Shindo Kronida. So that is quite cool. Oh, Gear Chronicle has been unlocked. And there we go, there's everything that has been unlocked for Gear Chronicle. It's quite a lot of things. Maybe that's not all just Gear Chronicle. I saw a stealth fiend in there. Ah, the Fighter's Quest. Ah, so there's the Fighter's Quest. It's quite cool how they've integrated that from the TV. Um, well, from the TV program, the anime. Uh, so let's see, clear quests and up your thing. Oh, okay. There are two types of quests. Receive quests. I was I was trying to scroll up, but <laughs> apparently if you touch the screen, it skips to the next thing. Two six quests. Retrieve, receive quests and free quests. Okay. The more stars, the more difficult it is. You can click chain button to switch another quest. You can change up to three times per day for free. Okay. Tap on challenge to start the challenge. Okay, G units are strides. And the strike deck is only 8, not 16, as it was in the beginning. And yes, and the triggers are now a thing. Oh, I didn't realise that. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, and let's receive the reward. And there we go. Hmm. 
heat element, magnum, and miracle element, atmos. I wonder if those are strides. I wonder if those are generic strides. Or maybe they're grade zeros. Interesting. Oh, and we have leveled up. Oh, that's interesting. So it levels up our stamina as well. Okay, that was interesting. Ah yes, the new November rank. Yes, I only got to Legend rank 6 because I didn't really need the Dragonical Fort. I already had four of it. And the new one is going to be... Ooh, Krongje. Now that's a card. I need to get uh, one of the alternate arts of those. Okay, so it looks like I'm in control now. So let's look at our gift box. We have 200 medals, the welcome, the three packs, the five packs, six coupons and 50 energy. So let's just claim all of these. There we are. Let us check out the customizations. Oh, that's interesting. So we've got different backgrounds that we can choose. In terms of characters, we have oh Shion and Mamoru. Hmm, interesting. So I don't own these two yet. So we've got the shop entrance, the front area. Let's see what front area looks like. Okay, the in front of bench. Ah, um, interestingly enough, Card Capital Two is actually based on a actual shop in Japan. It's in Tokyo. It's in Akihabara. I can't remember the name of the shop, but you do go upstairs. It's above a. Is it Card Kingdom? It might be Card Kingdom. But um, it, it does have this bit over here, um, across the front of the, the window, um, and they've got a stand table as well as all these sitting tables, and at, at the time I didn't realise that the stand table, I don't know if it was <clears throat> this one particular day or what, but the stand table was dedicated to the, like, like sort of like the, the strongest in the shop. Um, at least it wasn't that day. And everyone else was just sitting there. Like, there wasn't a tournament going on. They were just, you know, playing for fun. And um, me not knowing very much Japanese the first time I was there, uh, I just went, walked over to the stand table. The guy was standing there, like, shuffling his deck. And I thought, well, maybe he would like a game. You know, thinking that he wasn't playing anyone and he was just standing there shuffling his deck. So I brought out my deck and uh, I beat him with metal barks. And... Um, he said, uh, I know, uh, uh, one, one more game. And I was like, okay, sure, hi, arigato. Um, and we played again, and I beat him, and he, he swapped deck, and I beat him again. And then he swapped to another, he was like, ah, uh, I know, uh, one more game. And I was like, hi, arigato. Every time, you know, thanking him for the games. And um, suddenly, uh, there was a crowd around us, and everyone was all like, whoa, whoa. What the? You know, like, like, it's like, why is this guy that no one's ever heard of before coming in and beating this guy? And one of the staff comes over to me and he speaks a decent amount of English. And he's like, oh, you're very good. And I was like, oh, thank you. Oh my goodness, you speak Japanese. I'm, I'm so thankful. You, know, you speak English. I'm so thankful. And he was like, yeah, um, this is our uh, shop champion. You've um, beat him five times. And I was like, oh, I'm here because I'm competing in uh, in Worlds. Um, can you let him know that? And he was like, oh. And he says it in Japanese and the entire room all goes, 
oh <laughs> and like oh this isn't just some random guy that doesn't speak japanese that's walked into our shop and they started just beating our champion this dude's here for the world championship that's why he's good he's uh he's a european <laughs> champion <laughs> so i thought that was quite a, a fun story but um yeah that was one of my one of my uh, experiences in japan that i will never forget it's a great place um Card Capital 2 in front of the register. Yeah, the cash register. Uh, the bridge. Oh, I recognize that bridge. There's a few of those bridges actually in Japan, but um, there's some of them that are more famous than others. And um, yeah, I've, I've been across them. They, they tend to lead to, well, one of them leads to one of the big shrines. I can't remember exactly what. Is it the Manji Shrine? I think it may be the Manji Shrine that it leads to. It's possible. And this is in the junior high school corridor. Hmm. Well, I, th I quite like this one. And I quite like this one. You know what? I think I'm going to just stick with that one. Yep, that's fine. Uh, so, what does Fate do? A card? These don't seem to do anything. Oh, wait. So when I click over here, it goes to a different area. I see. Right, so you can set these up to be different. That's quite cool, actually. Monthly deck missions. Hmm. Okay, so if I get um, a lot of Altmail or Blade Master, then it gives me diamonds as well. I can claim those. Hmm. That's quite cool. So there's the card crafting, the uh, deck building, the forms. Which we'll take a look at the shop. Okay, let us look at the gacha. Oh, so... Hmm, the shop has changed quite a bit. That's interesting. So if we just click on it, I'm not going to get any packs. Hmm, so I've got 12 packs and 150 packs remaining in the box. There's six GRs left in the box, those are the six GRs there. 20 triple rares, which is two of all 10 triple rares. And then 72 double rares and 202 rares. Hmm. Interesting. But um, I've been told by um, friends that have played this in Japan that what you want to do is you want to craft all the commons and rares first so that you can get the universal materials so that that will allow you to craft um, cards easier. So let's say you look at the character fight for G. Okay, so there's only the three of them at the moment. Wow, we we have nothing for Gear Chronicle. Interesting. Hmm. Right. So, lots of things to do. Let's take a look at the quests once again. And we'll see what is the best way to use our energy. Play friend fight twice. Okay. And play rank fight or training groups. One times. Hmm. Okay, we can certainly do that. Oh, it's quite cool that they've got the different stars here. So, hmm. Daily. Ah, uh, right, that's just the login. Should one of these not have upgraded? Hmm? Hmm. Uh, there's the achievements. Oh, build a Gear Chronicle deck, that's new. Oh, I'm quite close to winning 
6,000 rank games. And this one has <laughs> always stopped. I always get to 14 and then I lose in the following match. Very, very irritating. Okay, so, um, play rank fight three times. Reach G fighter grade two, reach G three, reach grade four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And clear Vanguard G chapter two. Let's get that one. Hmm, interesting. That's quite cool, Pete. In fact, actually, that's not as good because the original home screen, uh, these were animated and now they are just 2D images. Hmm, not quite as good. If we go back to shop one, is it still the same? I wonder if they did that because the 3D models were getting difficult to make. Yeah, I actually still fully animated. So, if I go into shop here, yeah, I can still buy the generation shreds things. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, well, I think that is going to be it for this video, folks. I hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe. Um, do leave a comment below for your chance at winning a prize worth £100. And if you want to talk to me directly, you can find me in the Discord in the description below. That is going to be it for this video, folks. I hope you all enjoyed, and we'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.